Hey friends, uh, we are going live now. This is our prayer team getting together. We are in our lovely picnic shelter here. And uh, several members of our prayer team wanted to invite y'all in uh, to this prayer time today. We are coming to you both from Facebook Live and from YouTube, and so we want to welcome you. If you are with us live, welcome. Uh, if you are tuning in a little bit later today, welcome as well. Uh, Pat here is holding up our uh, order for the meeting today, so we're just going to wait about one more minute and let a few more people come in, and then we will get going with our prayer team. So let us prepare our hearts and our minds and our souls and our entire selves now uh, to pray to the Lord our God. The reading today is from Philippians 4, 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard you, your hearts, and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. 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 We'll now have a prayer for the new school year, and there'll be four uh, pauses in between the topics. Let us pray. Dear God, with a new school year upon us, we pray for our students that you would ease their anxiety about going back to school amidst the pandemic. We pray for safety for those returning to in-person classes and for the needed technology, self-discipline, and adult oversight for those learning online. Would you ensure that every student has enough to eat, a supportive network of friends and family, and perseverance to face every challenge with your strength? We pray for our parents and caregivers that you would grant them wisdom about which schooling option to choose. We pray for your provision physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. We pray for a support system that they can turn to when the challenges of life are overwhelming. We pray for churches and believers to surround our local families with more prayer and support this year more than ever. We pray for our teachers and school staff that you would grant them supernatural peace and discernment. We pray for wisdom for school district leaders and for the safety of every staff person on every school campus. May the community rally around our schools to provide the sanitation, supplies, and emotional support needed by our teachers and school staff as they educate our children. We pray for our church volunteers 
that your faithfulness and goodness would be evident through our actions as we love the students and school staff as you first loved us, especially amongst, amidst this pandemic. Grant us opportunities to develop meaningful relationships in safe ways. And may we strive to serve as Jesus did with grace and humility. We pray that students and teachers would see you through us. Amen. 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 We will now pray for all the people who are struggling through this pandemic whether they are sick or nurses or doctors, there will be a little um, brief moment between each verse. Dear Heavenly Father, while we do not truly understand why the COVID-19 pandemic occurred, we give thanks to you for the time you have given us to focus on our families, our communities, and those in need. Father, be with medical and emergency personnel who have given of their time and talent so selflessly. Be with all those who work in our hospitals, who support the work of our doctors and nurses. Help them to find a new normal, encourage recovery and restoration of their spirits. Father, Please heal and comfort those who are sick with the virus. May they know that you love them and may they put their hope in you. Shine your light on those who are still feeling down and continue to cope with the economic impact of this situation. Grant them patience with things that take time and tolerance of the struggles of others that may be different than their own. In these days of sickness, give us the wisdom to draw nearer to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> We're going to do our uh, prayer requests by topic, not by names, to uh, keep confidentiality. So I invite all of us to just uh, say loudly the topics. And I'll start us off with a few. Lord, we pray for those who are struggling with addiction and mental illness during this time of isolation. I pray for those, Father, who have lost loved ones, especially my neighbor who lost his mother this week. We ask you to comfort this family and hold them in your hands, we pray. And others that have lost loved ones, either due to the virus or through other causes, we pray for these as well. Heavenly Father, uh, we pray for our church, our church in the U.S., in the world, in all countries. Um, on the trip that uh, we took last week for Bob's 90th birthday, to Northwest North Carolina, we saw so many, many small United Methodist churches in very small hamlets and towns. And I um, know they're struggling. There were also many, like Free Will Baptists and many Presbyterians. Please, Lord, help those small churches survive, um, keep the faith, um, keep the service, and follow John Wesley's way um, to you and keep them strong through all this and may they revive in time. We're so blessed with all that we have here and we thank you Lord. We thank you so much for all that we have in our United Methodist Church and in our um, conference. Um, please Lord help all the others. Um, please help all the small churches that are struggling. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And I would add to that to pray for our Bishop of the Methodist Church here in Greenville and all of the pastors. Uh, and uh, Father, just ask that you will guide them, help them in uh, 
all that they are trying to do. Help them to be confident in new things that they are trying. And just thank you that we have all this technology that can help us. In Jesus' name. And I pray for all those who are in nursing homes and assisted living this day. Especially those that are around this area. That you will be with them. Be with uh, those who live there and those who care for them and help them through their struggles help them not to feel too alone we just hope that they are hearing us as we pray for them amen i pray for, for those that, are, that have lost their jobs that are financially struggling right now due to all that's going on know that there are solutions and we just ask that, that you touch these and help us to be a part of the solution. And I'd also like to pray for those that are incarcerated, those that are in prison, the kids at the DJJ, and the Mark as he tries to, to lead them in, in, in a better life. And we just ask you to touch their hearts. We pray, Lord. And Lord, we pray for those who are going home to you, even this day and night. Lord, I pray for the fact that they're isolated with no family member around them. Lord, would you give grace beyond measure, and would you allow your angels to show up in the form of the nurse and the respiratory therapist and the doctor and even the person that cleans the room. Lord, bring your comfort, bring your spirit. Father, we have a, people in this church who request prayers. We cannot at this time name them, but please n let them know that we are praying for them and that you are with them and will help them through their times of trial. Amen. Especially, Lord, those who are homebound, those who are alone, lonely, those who are isolated, those who are afraid. We pray for um, those in other countries that are suffering from the COVID um, pandemic and um, aren't able to deal with it, um, and that they're starving, and um, we pray for relief for them. We also pray for the backpack ministries of this church. May they be well supported. We have even extra backpacks to make up and, and uh, help with now. And we just pray that all of this ministry will be blessed by the people in our church. Amen. Lord, we have prayed for, for our world. We, we bring to you our world. We crave peace. We crave your guidance in our world, in our country, in our state, and in our town. We just pray that you will be with us, guiding us, letting your love and peace be the focus of all of us. And we will finish by repeating Psalm 77, verses 11 to 15. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeem your people. Praise the Lord.
praise the Lord. May the blessings of this day be with us. Amen. 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 <laughs> we ask all of you at home to continue with these prayers daily and constantly uh, to help those few of us here and keep the faith in your homes and neighborhoods. Thank you. I want to thank members of our prayer team uh, for leading in, us in this today. And they do meet once a month on the third Wednesday of every month. And I'm assuming that y'all are probably going to plan on doing this again next month as well, mm -hmm. meeting outside. Mm -hmm. uh, the weather is starting to turn a little fall-like around here. And I think we're excited about uh, so bringing some other opportunities like this to y'all. So uh, thank you and God bless everybody. And uh, go uh, with the love of God, the grace of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And we will see you again soon. Amen.